Who is it? It's Ada. Hey, Ada. Hey, Wildcats. Welcome to my crib. Come on in. So upon entry into our foyer, we have a gallery of past students. Um, it's an eclectic collection of various, various assignments and personal work, um, including a very small wall of shame um, that has grown and uh, shrunk over time to uh, incorporate mostly just people that really screwed up. Um, don't forget a pencil sharpener because you need that sometimes to uh, sharpen pencils. Let's go over there. Oh, hello again. Here we are in the private sanctuary of my, my, my desk. And if you ever looked at Miss Vineski's desk, you'd notice a big difference in the, uh, the amount of clutter. This is just, I know where everything is, exactly, exactly where I last left it. And behind um, my desk, in a very secure closet, I'm out of collection of some photography books that I think the students will enjoy. Um, this is a handmade bookshelf from rustic uh, wooden planks that uh, Mr. Curtis Bullock made, past teacher and current principal of a high school in Portland, Oregon, I believe. Made for me. Um, this is a nice built-in. This came with the place. Um, and it is uh, full of now books and uh, COVID tests. You never know when you're going to need one. Um, why don't we go look over there? Um, oh, we're back. So in the back of the room, um, there's some very, um, there's some, some interesting decor choices that we made. Um, the trophies are all trophies that I won uh, in my, my high school days that I just couldn't get rid of. There's my track trophies. It might be like a football trophy for my MVP quarterbacking days. Um, I can't read them really well from down here. I can't remember which one's which, but I have so many. And then here, we've decorated this wall with some uh, past students that have come to visit and signed in. So we have a, a little list of um, people that have come. There. Um, there's a lot of developing equipment here. This is this, this is where all the action happens. This is the magic zone. Um, and some really useful equipment in our storage closet, uh, some of which hasn't been used in decades, but who knows? It might be useful someday. I refuse to get rid of it. Um, in case anybody needs a car wash. Your window is taken care of there. Um, Octopi drying our film over here in the drying area. And um, piles of um, student work, because you never know when that'll come in handy. Um, why don't we go over there? Oh, hi again. Over here we have um, another drying rack of sorts for the uh, for the advanced students. So it can be locked up nice and tight and those pesky photo ones can't get at it. And above we have a our greenhouse. Um, the temperature and humidity in this room are perfect for this type of palm tree. I'm not exactly sure what I don't know what this is doing here. This might not be appropriate. 
for this video. But the palm tree has become you know, a very nice uh, means of shade in the room and just a nice place to contemplate life, um, to have a spiritual moment, meditate a little bit, with all the hustle and bustle going around. It's a little bit of nature we like to, we like to have in here in our greenhouse. Um, and finally, um, let's go over there. <laughs> oh, hi again. Uh, one thing we can't uh, be without in a tour of the, the photography room is the dark room. Follow me. It's dark. <laughs> Film photography is not obsolete. Just look at all the people. I promise you, this room gets really crowded during the day, in the middle of class. It's crazy. That you should see someday. But in the meantime, enjoy it when you have all the space you need. Come in someday and make a print in our dark room.